What's up, nigga? Uncle Spliff, nigga. Spliff DTV, nigga. Hey, we out here in motherfucking North Tampa, nigga. The North, nigga. Fucking with D Slugger, nigga. What the fuck going on, D Slugger? What's up going on, bro? Hey man, where the fuck we at right now, man? I know we on North Temple. Where, where, where we at? Shit, we uh, we in a little shit called Kelly Red. My cousin in the spot on the on the side of, you know, side of the north side. You feel me? My side a little hot right now, so we come over here, come over here, kick it with cousin and shit. Okay, okay. So what side? What what side of Temple you from? Like, what hood you from? I'm from uh, Cross Bush. But you know, self experience and Cross Bush back in the days was all basically the same thing. But you know, at the time went by niggas start getting their own little squads and shit so everybody got a little different shit going on but you know it's a north side thing either way it go okay okay now uh what's your what, what's your click i mean i heard about your click man your click making noise around this motherfucker man what's your what, what, scudder game right yeah 200 scudder game yeah 200 scudder game That's now it. explain to me now when i first moved to Tampa, bro i was kind of confused man because Niggas was telling me Tampa really don't Rip Tampa ain't really about hoods, it's about the clicks. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? So like what like what like how many different clicks is it, it is it in the north side? Yeah. Shit, we got we got the Springs, we got Cross Bush, we got Cross Fowler, Cross Fletcher, but in them different hoods, niggas got their own like little groups. It's too many like the, the name. Yeah. I know they got like I know the Springs got like 12, 17, 6, Blood by Loyalty, um, different little shit, but it's like, at the end of the day, it's all the same shit, you know what I'm saying? It's the same hood, but it just got their yeah, different. little different, you know, few people that they mainly kicking with and shit. Okay, okay, okay. All right, now, these slug, I was kind of worried about you for a minute, man, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I fuck with y'all watching, you know, and then all of a sudden, nigga, you disappeared, nigga. Yeah, I just did like six months and a half in, uh, in the county. You did six months in the county? Yeah, I had bonded out on the 200,000 bond. Oh, ho, 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 hold up. Let me back up right here, nigga. The wind finna blow me over. <laughs> nigga, you said $200,000 bond? Yes, sir. Blessed to be back out here with y'all. Yeah. Man, you very, very blessed. You, you don't mind speaking on what, what, what the fuck you fighting? Uh, you... And these men are sleeping in the Hillsborough County Jail tonight. I have no doubt that the arrests made today will make Tampa a safer city. According to police chief Brian Dugan, they're members of the 200 Scudda gang and responsible for numerous crimes across the country, including witness tampering, identity theft, credit card fraud, and much more. Stupid boy, you ain't gonna take that. The gang members include rappers who wrote songs that describe shootings, killing snitches, and the absence of fear of law enforcement. Detectives were able to use their music videos, which they posted on YouTube, to connect them to several crimes. Yeah. I can't really speak too much on it, but it's a uh, RICO charge. That's about it. Hold on, so the feds came and got you? Nah, it's a state RICO. It's a state? No, hold on, Florida got a, a state RICO, bro? Yeah, I, I guess so. That's what, that's what, that's who came and picked us up. The feds ain't got nothing to do with it. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy, the motherfucker. So Temple like really hot like that, bro. Yeah, you know, certain areas. Yeah. Certain areas get down, you know. Yeah. Certain areas, good areas, certain areas not. Yeah. Good. So, well, 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 so if, the, if them boys over here, we're going to say North Tampa ain't one of them areas, Jack. I mean, we cool, you feel me, but yeah. it, could, it could get like that. It get like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, man, let's get back on the show. So, so uh, how difficult how difficult was it for you, D-Slugger, man? Because you had the momentum. You was fucking with Swift. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all had, had a nice collaboration going on. You get locked up. So, nigga, that's six months of inactivity. Yeah. How hard was you, you? How hard was it for you getting out and hopping back into the music game, trying to trying to get your position back? Cause now you got new artists in yeah. that feel that kind of took took your spot. Yeah, I was seeing, I was seeing a lot of new artists came. A lot of niggas got a little little wave right now when I came out or whatever. But like you said, I still you know I still surround myself around the same people that I was dealing with before I came out. So it yeah. wasn't really hard to just jump back in it. Like I got a new single right now, my life. I did with uh, my partner Kid Fresh, he shot it. Okay. It's right now, it's going up right now. So like I said, it wasn't really, like I've been out for two months, I already got two videos out. I've been in the studio. Hold on, so five. since you been out, you already dropped two videos. Two videos, yeah, I did the first day out like two days. So what's out. these other niggas' excuses? I, that's what I'm saying. It took, I've been going for six months. Shit, yeah. Still, shit, still looking the same, but you know what I'm saying? Like you said, it's a few different, few different artists that's popping and shit. Yeah. Nah, yeah, nah, I don't know what the world know, but you got a little you sitting on you sitting on a little you sitting on some some ammunition yeah you know what i'm talking about yeah. now let's speak on how 
you got this raw wave feature. Oh yeah. Before he before he Wait, blew pop. up. Wait, yeah. Pop, yeah. I, uh shit, I had it was a little shit called the rap school we was um we was going to it was like basically like a I fuck with that. It was a double XL type thing. Yeah. It was for tap in the Bay Area type shit. Now, what happened what happened to the rap school, bro? Um I be still seeing them, but I don't know if they doing the class. It was a, it like it was over there it was East like Tampa, right? It was in Lucio area. Oh, it was in Lucio. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So, um, hey, shout out to the rap school, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Shout out to them. Um, we, um, it was like a little thing. They they took pictures just like XXL. They did like a freestyle. You know what I'm saying? They took pictures for the cover. They had a magazine for it and everything. So that's why I first had like met them personally or whatever. I met up with them. We linked up. We chopped it up. That's when we was networking with all the artists. It was like me, Jay Creek. Um, STP Fredo, OTM Frenchy, uh, Rod Wade. Oh, so Frenchy was there too? Frenchy was there too. I, that's my partner too. I fucked yeah. up too. I, uh, we supposed to be doing some shit soon too. Um, Man, shout out to Frenchy Free Ruger. Yes, sir. Um, but yeah, um, so we linked through that or whatever. So we start uh, hollering back and forth or whatever. And then um, one day I sent him a beat. Uh, my partner Average Kid sent me some beats. Average Kid producing type of. Uh, okay. He sent me some beats and I sung I heard a beat and I was like, yeah, this sound like some shit Rod Wave would do it up. So I sung it to him. So he was like, um, he said, um, he was like, but we gotta do this type shit, we gotta do it. He said, he said, you give me four hundred and fifty dollars right now, whatever I'll come out there and do it. So now like, let me ask you this. Um, when you reached out to Raw Wave, was this at the Heartbreak Hotel? Yeah. And Hunger Games and all that? Yeah. Okay, okay. So he already, yeah, he that already, buzz is already. That's why, that's why I've heard him at, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, 450, that damn deal, nigga. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He was already fucking, he, he was on my Instagram, he was seeing my music and shit. Yeah. So he was fucking with me or whatever. So when I sung the beat, he was like, yeah, we gotta do this type shit. And then he was like, send me, uh, he sold me the price or whatever. He said, yeah, come do it. He came. Yeah. I gave him the money. He went in the studio and he did that. No, no, let's, let's speak on that, bro. Because you just impressed me right now, bro. The slugger, how, how, how your mommy asked, how how you what you weigh about 22, 23? 23, yeah. Yeah, 23. You 23 years old. But you already got a good business mind on for as far as investing into your career. Yeah. Why why you think a lot of artists, especially upcoming artists, don't wanna pay for features? I feel like everybody don't take it as serious like as certain artists do. You feel me? Some people don't wanna be that's not some people dream, you feel me, to be big artists, like they don't wanna some people just do this shit just for fun. You feel like they can just rap, they can go spend some money at the studio, they can just look funny, like funny games like that. So a lot of people ain't gonna take it that serious as an artist as actually trying to go somewhere with it, you feel me? Some artists just be like, hey, fuck it, bitch, I might blow, you feel me? It is what it is. Yeah. But some niggas actually dedicated to this shit, like know that this shit a pop. They got faith in themselves, you feel me? They, they believe in themselves that it's gonna pop, you feel me? And not really what as far as what everybody else saying about this shit, they believe in themselves or whatever. They know they got some heat, so they gonna put the money behind. They know it, it could, you know what I'm saying? It could pay off at the end of the day. So you think it? So basically, you think a lot of artists do it just for the clout, for the Instagram, yeah, just, Instagram you know fame? Me? I be seeing a lot of bullshit, man, and it be like, and bitches be liking this shit too, just because you feel me? Just cause like, like little clout chasing ass shit, like little shit that don't even be you feel me? Don't even be real deal, but you know the media just feed into all type of bullshit. So. Yeah. Now how now how does that make you feel as an artist that really takes that really takes this crap serious? I mean, I see it. I don't, I don't really feel no type of way, but I just feel like it's a shame, you feel me, that like people be like sleeping on certain artists. There's a lot of talent in Tampa. I mean, I yeah. done heard a lot of local. I'm guilty. I love I love local, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I love local music, period. Like yeah. like the like industry artists and shit, I listen to them and shit like that, but mostly mainly when I be slime, I listen to local like yeah. niggas who actually, you know what I'm saying? Because but that's what really the talent really be at, but people be overlooking it or whatever. You feel me? So that's it, really. Yeah, I want to. I, I want to say that. I want to speak on this this uh this subject and and give y'all a little disclaimer. Uncle Spliff is gonna be a real nigga and admit that nigga. I'm one of them niggas that used to sleep, nigga. I used to sleep on a lot of niggas, but not uh, they woke up a motherfucking sleeping giant, bitch. I'm on it now.